Inhale, fill the belly. Exhale, empty the belly. Just continuing to breathe at your own speed. Fe feeling the belly expand on the inhalation and relax on the exhalation. Giving yourself permission to sink deeper into the floor with every out breath. Using this calming breath to release muscular tension and allow your thoughts to slow down. And a few more deep belly breaths. Last one. And then bringing both arms to your sides with palms facing up. Bring your full focus into your physical body. And just notice what you notice today. How does your body feel laying on the floor? Are there areas of tension in your body? Are there areas of wellness in your body? Does the body feel symmetrical or does it feel lopsided or uneven? Does one half of the body take up more surface area than the other? What direction are your toes pointed in? Are they pointed in the same direction? Different directions? Where do your knees point? Is it the same from right to left or is it different? Noticing where you've chosen to place your hands today. Is it different from right to left? Gently looking over one shoulder, noticing how much range of motion you have. Bringing the head back to neutral and looking over the other side. Is it different from side to side? Can you look further over one side than the other? Bringing your head back to neutral. Notice where your natural breath is today. Are you breathing into the belly or into the upper chest? Notice if you're holding tension in your jaw or between your brow. Notice unconscious tension anywhere in your body. Breathe into that area and see how it would feel to release it on the out breath. Breathing into the tension, releasing with the out breath. And just taking one final snapshot of how you, you, your body is feeling right now. Remembering anything that's interesting or curious. So you can compare at the end of class. Then we're going to tilt one knee out, gently drag the heel up towards the body. Same on the other side. Both knees are bent. Feet and knees are about hip width apart. And then we're going to bring both hands behind the head and gently clasp or interlace the fingers together, resting the elbows on the floor. If this is uncomfortable, you can leave your arms to your side or put your palms on your chest. Just always being comfortable. And what we're going to do is we're going to inhale and gently look up, arch the low back, exhale, tucking the chin, bringing the elbows together, flattening the low back. Inhale, back down, keeping the chin tucked until it touches the floor. 
Inhaling, elbows into the floor, gently looking up, arching low back. Exhale, gently tucking the chin, rolling up, bringing the elbows together. Inhale, back down, opening the elbows, gently arching, arching the back. Going at your own speed, this gentle arch and flatten. Notice as you inhale and arch the back, how that front body expands. As you exhale, tuck the chin and gently roll up. Feel the front body contract. Notice the difference from side to side. Last one. Coming back down. And now we're gonna do, um, we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna go right elbow to right knee. So inhale, gently looking up, arching the back, rolling up, bringing the right elbow toward the right knee as the foot comes off the floor, only as far as is comfortable. Inhale, back down. Right elbow to right knee. One more time. And then we're going to switch and go left knee to left elbow. Two more times. Last one. And now we're gonna go cross body with this movement. We're going to bring the right elbow towards the left knee. So inhale, gently look up, arch the low back. Exhale, tucking the chin, bringing the right elbow to the left knee. Two more times. And then we're going to switch sides, left elbow to right knee. Last one. And then bringing the hands back to the side, gently lengthening one leg and then the other. And just notice what you feel now. How does the body feel? Does the connection of the back body to the floor feel different now? Have your toes changed direction? Have your knees moved direction a little bit? Have you changed the placement of your hands? gently looking over one shoulder and then the other. Notice if your rotation of your C-spine has shifted at all. Notice what you notice. Coming back to neutral. Now we're gonna switch positions and we're gonna roll over onto our stomach. So imagine how you would roll over to your stomach with the least amount of effort. And when you have that visualization, um, please roll over onto your stomach. You'll wanna remove your glasses if you're wearing glasses. If you have any low back tightness, you will wanna um, try a pillow underneath of your ankles. And if you do have, if you are uncomfortable in this position, laying on your stomach, you can also put a pillow underneath of your stomach. So just transitioning onto your stomach and stacking your palms and resting your forehead on your palms. And just notice how this feels. Notice if the hip bones are evenly pressed into the floor, or if one hip bone is taking more weight than the other. 
Notice any tension in the body. Here's what I found. Then we're going to bring the left hand under the left shoulder, the right hand under the right shoulder, and just gently rest the right cheek on the floor. So you're looking over left shoulder. And then we're going to push the body up and then look over the right shoulder, resting the left cheek on the floor. We're just going to go back and forth, feeling the back body contract on the way up and allowing everything to release and relax when you get back to the floor. Very important to let everything relax and let go before you move again. I'm just noticing how it feels to go from side to side. Is it easier to go to one side than the other? Notice how far down your back you feel the contractions when you come up. And then the next time your right cheek is resting on the mat, just lay there. Just take a breath, take a pause. We're going to add something here. So what we're going to do is we are going to push up, look over our left shoulder and raise our right leg just a few inches. And then come back down, resting right cheek on the floor, letting everything go. And we'll do this a few more times, looking over the left shoulder as the right leg raises, coming back down, letting all the tension out of your body, like you just flicked a little off switch, everything releases. And then when you're ready, looking over left shoulder again, feeling all the muscles contract in the right glute into the back. Releasing, last one. And then we're gonna switch sides. So you're gonna look over the right shoulder. And then coming up, looking over right shoulder, raising left leg. Coming back down, letting everything relax, letting everything go. And I'm just repeating the same movement again. Does it feel different on this side? Are the, are the movements jumpy, jerky, or shaky? Just noticing what you notice. Last one. And then bringing the stacked palms together, resting your forehead on your stacked palms. And notice what's different after doing this Landau movement. Do you feel like the front of your body is making more contact with the mat? Is it easier? If you had a pillow underneath of your legs, can you remove it now and lay there without discomfort? Now we're going to switch positions again. We're going to roll over onto our right side. So imagine how you would move from this position with the least amount of effort onto your right side. And you'll definitely want to have a pillow underneath of your neck. So a pillow for support, you're going to want to have your hips and your knees at a 90 degree and your knees and your ankles at a 90 degree. So you should be able to see the tips of your toes in this position. And this is the accordion and we're going to release the side body as well as the side neck and the hip 
And so be very gentle with yourself. This uh, looks like a very easy movement to do, but if you have chronically tight muscles, um, you just want to make this movement small and gentle for yourself. So we're gonna take our top hand and place it on our top of our head. And we're gonna do a gentle side curl up. And you'll feel this in your side body and the side of your neck. And then gently roll down and let everything go. This is how the brain learns to relax these chronically tight muscles. We're gonna roll up again, keeping the nose pointed forward, avoiding the temptation to rotate the neck and look up at the ceiling when you come up. As we really wanna focus on these lateral neck muscles. One more time, gently coming up and down fully releasing and then we can bring this arm down and rest it and then we're going to raise the top ankle toward the ceiling so for those of you who are experiencing some hip issues this could be challenging let everything go you can tap out that hip muscle to help those chronically tight muscles relax and again Coming up and down, letting everything relax. One more time. Now we're gonna put this movement together. So the, if it is challenging for you to put your hand up here, you could just leave your hand on your side and we can just add this movement together making sure you relax in between the movements. Letting everything go. Feeling the side body contract and then release. Last one. Bring the hand back down, patting out that hip releasing those muscles. Then we're just gonna move the pillow and just lay on your back and notice what you notice after doing the Landau on one side. You might feel a little bit lopsided. You might feel one half of your body is making more contact with the floor. One half might feel lighter. Just notice what you notice and gently look over one shoulder and then the other, noticing if the range of motion has changed on the side that you just released. So for me, it was my left side because I was laying on my right side. Now we're gonna switch sides. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So getting comfortable. Using your neck support, checking in with your low body. So we want a 90 degree from our hips to our knees and from our knees to our ankles. So we should be able to just see the tips of our toes. And if this position is uncomfortable, then just leave a straight arm. And we're just gonna gently roll up, feeling the contraction in the side body. Release, let everything go. Coming up again, moving at your own speed, letting comfort be your guide. Last one. Bringing the arm back to the hip. Then we're gonna raise that top ankle toward the ceiling, coming back down, tapping out the hip if you have a hard time releasing those muscles. If you are um, feeling a jumpy, jerky, shaky movement, that is a sign of sensory motor amnesia. And you can quickly smooth out that jumpy, jerky, shaky with repeated movements. Now we'll bring that hand back up if it's comfortable and we'll put the movements together. And again, just being aware that you are not 
rotating the head to look toward the ceiling, just keeping the eyes straight ahead so that you are contracting the muscles in the lateral side of the neck. And we'll go one more. Bringing the arm down, moving the pillow and just rolling onto your back again. And notice what you notice. How have things shifted from being on the front of the body and both sides of the body? What has changed since the beginning of the class? This is such a huge part of the somatic practice is to keep checking in before, during, and after the movements. Then we're going to gently tilt one leg out, drag the hip up, and then the same on the other side. And this time we're gonna have our feet and our knees hip width apart, if that is comfortable. And we're just gonna gently allow the right knee to move toward the left knee, going only as far as is comfortable. Coming back to neutral. And let's do that two more times. Right knee slowly moves toward the center of the body. You'll feel the right waist lengthen, making sure to stop, release all tension in the body before you move again, feeling that right waist lengthen, coming back to neutral, releasing any tension, and then we'll do the same with the left side. Just notice how it feels. Is it easier on the left side? Stopping at neutral, consciously releasing before moving again. Can you feel the left waist lengthen? Does this feel different from the right side? I know for some of you, including myself, it certainly does. Coming back to neutral. And now we'll just go um, side to side. And you might be noticing you're getting a little bit more range of motion. Last one. You're going to gently walk the feet and the knees together. So feet are touching, knees are touching. We're going to gently let both knees Roll over to the left side, only as far as is comfortable. Knees back to neutral. And then over to the right side. We'll just go from side to side. And as the knees go to the left side, you're going to look over the right shoulder. So you look opposite the direction that the knees are pointing. So we start to feel this undulation of the spine. And then we can add our hands and arms. So we'll come back to neutral. Knees are going to go to the left side. Look over the right shoulder. Right hand, palm up. Left hand, palm down. And we're going to go the opposite direction. Knees go to the right, look over left shoulder, left palm goes to the ceiling, right palm down. So we're always looking towards our upturned palm, opposite the direction of the knees. 
For some of you, this will be a little bit of brain gymnastics this morning. Don't sweat it. Just keep remembering to look at the upturned palm. Coming back to neutral, we're going to bring one knee into the chest, followed by the other, gently hugging the knees into the chest, rolling back and forth, tucking the chin, just feeling that nice stretch on the low back. I'm bringing one foot to the floor and then the other and just ask yourself what you want to do to reset your body. Do you need to go into a full body stretch? Do you need to go into a twist? Just ask yourself what you want to do and allow that movement to happen. This is called idiopathic motor movement. And if we just let our body move, it will guide us to reset our body. This practice will change your posture. And then just coming back into neutral, lengthening one leg and then the other. Bringing your awareness back into your body and noticing any changes from the beginning of the class. Do you still have the same tension spots? Have they dissipated or moved? Do you still have the same spots or areas of wellness? Have they expanded or moved? How is the back body connecting to the floor now? Does it feel more symmetrical? Notice if the direction of your toes have changed, your knees. Has your hand placement, arm placement changed? Gently looking over one shoulder and then the other. Just noticing if you've improved range of motion or gained more fluid motion. Coming back to neutral. Notice where your breath is now. Are you breathing more freely, more deeply? Are you still holding any tension in the jaw or in the brow? Bringing both hands over your heart, sending yourself some love and appreciation for making self-care your priority this morning, acknowledging yourself for showing up, and just think of someone else that you could share that appreciation, acknowledgement, and love with. And just send that out. Share the love. Bringing the hands gently to your side. And continuing to lay here or get up, whatever you want to do. There's no need to rush. If you want to just lay here and enjoy this, please go ahead. If you do want to sit up, I'll encourage you to gently roll to one side and then gently push yourself up. And I wish you all a very amazing Friday afternoon.